Hi everyone, Phil here from Advanced Digital. Today we're going to set up the ADV6000 receiver decoder in order to set up an over-the-air ATSC to multicast broadcast network. Okay, let's first take a look at the physical ADV6000 device. At the front we have the display panel, the indicator lights, and the control buttons. Let's take a look at the back. At the back we have the IP streaming port, ASI input ports, ASI outputs, SDI outputs, the control ethernet port, composite, and HDMI output. And over here we have the RF input port and that is what we'll be using to connect our antenna in order to receive the ATSC signal. As for the antenna, we'll be using this basic leaf antenna. This is about $30 on Amazon. Now let's turn on the unit. Okay, we plug the unit in and are ready to turn on the power. As you can see, the unit is initializing. This takes a few seconds. Now that the unit is on, you can see that the default IP address is 10.10.70.48. Should you change the IP address, the new one will be displayed here. Okay, now that the unit is up and running, we're ready to connect to the web interface and configure the device. Okay, so we connected the ADV6000 to our network and are now ready to begin setting it up. Before we do this, let's take a look at a diagram describing our setup. As I've previously mentioned, what we're doing is creating an ATSC to multicast broadcast network. In our diagram, we have the ADV6000 with IP address of 10.10.70.48. This is the default IP address. And we're controlling it through a computer with an IP address on the same network of 10.10.70.50. Our ATSC stream is coming in through a basic ATSC antenna going into the RF input. And our output will be a multicast stream going to a multicast network of 239.1.1.1. This way, any computer or device on the network can connect to the multicast address in order to receive the stream. This could be a tablet, a phone, a computer, a set-top box, or any other professional equipment on your network. If you do not want to send to a multicast address, you can always send the stream directly to a specific device, such as a set-top box. Let's take a look at a diagram describing this process. As you can see in this diagram, everything stays the same, except now, instead of sending to a multicast address, you are sending the stream directly to a unicast address. In this case, to an IP address on the same network, with IP address of 10, 10, 70, 60. Okay, now let's configure the unit to the web interface. Let's begin configuring the ADV6000. Open your web browser and type in the IP address of the unit. The default address is 10.10.70.48. The default username is root and the password can be found in the menu. As you can see, this is the ATSC version. So the ATSC tuner is visible. We have some basic information here about the strength of the signal and the bit rate. Let's begin by configuring the ATSC tuner. Click on the configuration menu. In this field, you can enter the frequency 
of the HAC channel that you want to tune to. Since we are located in Toronto, let's search for the Toronto frequencies. We are going to search for Toronto HAC frequencies. Here you can see the various channels that are available over the air in Toronto. I'm going to pick channel 19 which is TVO. To find out the frequency for channel 19 we are going to search for the ATAC frequency table. Here we have various virtual channels and their associated frequencies. Here is channel 19. As you can see the lower edge of the frequency starts at 500 and the upper edge ends at 506. When configuring the tuner you always want to pick the middle range of the channel. So in our case the middle between 500 and 506 will be 503. Click apply. Click return. As you can see the settings have been saved. Now let's set up the IP output of the device. Click on the TSIP menu option, click on Gigabit mode, make sure that 32 IPTV dual out option is selected. This is the easiest mode to use. In this mode we can send our stream to up to 32 IP addresses. This could be multicast or unicast. Click apply, click return. We are now ready to configure the IP output. Click on Gigabit Output. Make sure that our source is the RF Tuner. Then click on IPTV Channel Setup. Select the service that you would like to stream. In this case we only have one service. Now let's enter the IP address of our multicast output. First we enable channel 1 streaming. As you can see we can have up to 32 channels. For this example let's use the IP address 239.1.1.1. For the port let's select port 3000. Click apply, click return, wait until the unit configures itself. At this point the ADV6000 should be streaming the ATSC signal to our multicast address. Let's test this out with VLC. Make sure that you're running your VLC on the same subnet as your ADV6000. Let's open VLC. To open our stream, go to File, Open Network. Click on the URL box. Type in UDP colon forward slash slash add sign and now the IP address of our multicast network 239 dot one dot one dot one colon and the port number which is in this case is 3000 click on open we are now successfully receiving our ATAC stream using VLC of our multicast network well that's it for this tutorial, if you have any questions please send us an email, thank you.